In this tutorial, I'll show you how to blur faces in Premiere Pro. Let's get to it. Here we are in Premiere. I've got this video of a person walking toward the camera and here we're going to be blurring out his face. First, we need to add a blur effect. For that, let's head over to the effects panel. If you don't see it, go up to window, make sure effects is checked. And then here, search for gosh and blur and add it to the video layer. Then make sure the time indicator is at the start of the video. Then head over to the effect controls panel and under the Gaussian blur settings, you'll see three different options for creating a mask. Now, if you need the specific shaped mask, you can select free draw bezier tool and create a custom mask around the subject. But in my case, I'm going to select the ellipse mask since the face is somewhat rounded, we can get away with it. So if I click on create ellipse mask, a rounded mask will be created in the center of the composition. So I'm going to click and drag it and place it on top of the face. But right now the mask is too big, we need to scale it down. The way we do that is we hover the cursor slightly outside the mask until we see this double-sided arrow that is bent. And then if we hold shift on the keyboard, it changes to a different one. So now while holding shift, left click, and here we can change the scale of the mask. I'm going to make it smaller, something like this, further readjust it. We can also drag on any individual points to extend them or bring them inwards. So I'm going to make it somewhat smaller. Now, after adjusting the mask, again, make sure you are at the start of the video, then go back to the effect controls panel and click on this wrench icon and make sure preview is on so we can see the mask while it's being tracked. And now we're going to track the mask by clicking track selected masks forward. And then Premiere will start tracking the mask forward. And in most cases, it does a pretty good job. But in case if it doesn't, you can always click on the stop button and go back to the moment where it failed and redo the whole process once again. And once the tracking is finished, we can go back to the effect controls panel and here let's increase the blur amount to something like 100. And you can see now we are blurring the face. And if we increase the mask further to something like 25 to smoothen out the edges of the mask, and let's go ahead and do the preview. And if you notice that the mask is not properly tracked, you can stop the video, go back to that exact moment where the mask failed, and you can either manually adjust the mask and then click on track selected masks forward, and you know, Premiere will redo the whole process. So that is how you blur faces in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.